Let's create this roadblock with an error texture in Unity using ProBuilder. If ProBuilder is already installed, you will find it under Tools, ProBuilder, ProBuilder window. Let's dock the window to the left side and make it a little bit smaller. Now in the ProBuilder window, click the button New Shape. Now I will use the values on X6, Y would be 5 and Z would be 10. Now let's zero out the position of the new shape and also zoom a little bit out so that we can see it better. I will also change the material to the ProBuilder material on the new shape. But of course you can use whatever you would like to have. So the next step will be to change the pivot point. I will select the vertex selection tool, select the bottom left corner, set pivot and then I will zero out the position. Now it's even with the bottom. Now with the edge selection tool selected, select the edge, add the edge loop cut and then drag the loop cut up. You will notice the yellow edges. After you have set it to the right position, just hit enter to confirm the cut. Our next step would be to use the face selection tool, select the faces on the side and extrude them. So just click on the new faces we have created with the cut, mark them both, hold shift and then extrude and you will get something like that. So the last step is to assign different materials to different faces. Open the material editor and you can see the three materials I'm using. I have prepared three ones and assign them to the slots I would like to use. Now if I select the top face, open the material editor again and hit the button, this face will be assigned to this material or let's say the material will be assigned to this face. On the materials I have only colors right now. But the last step will be to create a texture and assign the texture to the correct material. So let's assign the other faces to the other materials. So I would like to have these borders white, so I will assign it to a separate material with the white color. Select the faces, it's enough to select the side one and the top one. Also on the other side, hold shift while doing it. Open the material editor and assign it to the correct one. So the rest of the body is already assigned to the last Pro Builder material, so we don't need to do anything here. If I change this material to another one, you can see that it's only affecting the last part, which we have not assigned to anything else. I will revert it back to the other Pro Builder material because I like it more. You can leave, of course. So next step is creation of the texture. So I'm using for this the free online photo editor, Pixel or however it is pronounced. So I'm creating a texture 512 width and 512 height and the background should be white. Now let's create another empty layer. Go to selection in the top and select all pixels. And now let's fill it with a different color. I will take light gray. Now let's go to free transform and so that we can rotate it. Hold control while rotating so you could rotate it a little bit better. Yeah. And let's move it down. Now let's move it a little bit down, yeah, like that. So next step would be to duplicate the layer. Now change the color to a different one, whatever you like. And also again, move it down so that we can cut on this place to get the arrow texture we would like to have. Go to select all pixels and just go to the bottom layer and hit delete on your keyboard and you can remove the top one, the red one. And we have our arrow sign we would like to have. Yeah. Let's also maybe 
change the color to a lighter gray. Uh, like that. And now we can say to file and export PNG and use this texture we have exported in Unity. So you can change it to 512. And now let's go to our material, which is on the top face and assign this texture to this material. We will get a result like that. If you like it, you can keep it like that, or you can modify the tiling and change the texture like however you would like it. I would like to have only one arrow over the whole road, so I will play with the settings of the tiling until I get the result I'm happy with. So yeah, I think I like it like that. Maybe also let's move the offset a little bit to the center. So, no, this is the wrong one, this one, yeah. And you can position it like that. Uh, this is how I would like to have it, yeah. Now we can duplicate the road and align it to see how it looks if you have more than one. And for me, this is quite fine. Thanks for watching and I hope it helps you. See you guys.